I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Take away his armor and the lyrium, and Samson's just another man. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Dagna, what have you learned of Samson? He should be dead. I mean, you could make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor, it's genius. To do all this and not go insane, he must be resistant. Or he is insane. Or both. So in addition to killing others, it's slowly consuming him too? Yes, but slow is not fast. It doesn't matter. I can find a way to hurt him. I just need time and red lyrium. For tests. Is that wise? Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long. Or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? <laughs> no hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. No shoe. I've work to do. Inquisitor.
here. Keep your guard up. Something feels wrong here. It's worse by the door. Indeed. I feel it as well. The ill feeling by the entry. Not present here. I believe it was a magical of sorts. A warning, perhaps, or a test. Explains why the miners left this place alone. There's an elven artifact. Need more shards.
believe this is yours. Nothing here is worth as much as this. It's all I have left. I don't have much. But this opens one of my old caches. Whatever's left is yours. As thanks.
are you, my lord? Always better for the sight of you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> oh my, you flatter me much too much. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Farrick. No problem. Good afternoon. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I should go. You know where I'll be. Do you need something, my dear? I'll leave you to your work. Good book? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. So you like to read. What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Why not? I think Varric would be pleased to have another fan. Pleased? Yes, that's one word for it. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me.
Come aid us by our come we the able truth. Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Toss it a thon halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well... As much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said, you shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be I will bring myself sexual pleasure later while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? Mm. <coughs> oh. <sighs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Kunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. To dragons! <coughs> to finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Anan. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Right. That be better. <laughs> well, let me know if you find one. There is no other man. He becomes the other man to do the things he can't. I'll talk to you later. How do you know?
I'm here. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. What's so surprising about that? You have met Cassandra, haven't you? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. 
Well, it turns out the guardsmen... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox, a name I did not expect to hear. Samson's letter said something about taking over as the vessel. Perhaps it's a rank among the Red Templars. It could be a title from ancient to winter. Or it's some other role Corypheus has planned for Samson, and Maddox is part of it. Another voice from your past? In a way, this is complicated. Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the Order. Maddox was made tranquil and became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. I can't believe they made a man tranquil over a few love letters. The official charge was corrupting the moral integrity of a Templar. Knight Commander Meredith wielded the brand for far lesser offenses, believe me. Why would Maddox need saving? When the mages rebelled in Kirkwall, the worst battles took place at the gallows in the circle itself. I thought Maddox had died in the fighting, or was eking out a living on the streets. A hard fate for a tranquil in Kirkwall. Samson must have found him, taken him in. Perhaps there's something left of the man Samson used to be. Or he's shrewd enough to know an extraordinary resource. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him, and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. Inquisitor, 